Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 17, Football Manager 19. We've got a little bit going on, a uh, little bit that I missed. You know, one of the things that I really wish they would add to this game is when you go on vacation to take a break or to get through a dead period, that if anything remotely important happened, that it would automatically kick you out of the vacation and bring you back to the game before that event occurs. Contracts, because you know, you don't know when those are gonna crop up. So I went on a week long vacation. I don't take long ones, because you know, if I have like two months, I only take five to seven days at a time. I don't want a million emails when I come back and just in case anything is happening, you know? So yeah, got a contract offer. And, of course, I signed it without even being there. So, don't like that. That's one of the things in the game that I really dislike. But, anyway, so I got a new contract, which is good. I mean, you know, whatever. Um, the other thing was, you remember how we won the Intermedio? Yeah, it turns out there was actually a final. And it wasn't on the schedule. Uh, so, I went on a one-week vacation, and we played the final automatically. Didn't come back for a game. No big deal. Thankfully, we won because I would have really been pissed. Not that I could have done anything, but we won 1-0. Barney with the goal, and we got silverware. <laughs> so, yay. Um, I didn't even get to see it. So, I was a little disappointed, but, you know, I mean, I was glad we got silverware. So, that's good. We beat Juventude 1-0 in the Intermedio Final. Uh, now I will know that there's a final at that spot, but you would think that would come up right after the, you know, the like the next day, and we went the next day, and it wasn't there. So anyway, um, we do have the quarterfinal. I knew about that, so we're back for that today. We've also entered the transfer period, so we've got a few transfers to talk about. Uh, let's see. Sebastian Ballesteros, we sold him to Palestino for 68000 Yeah, that happened. Um, loans. Shoot. Transfer center out in all crap. Uh, there's nowhere for me to see outgoing loans. Uh, shit. Uh, I don't remember everybody, damn it. Um, Lietes, our right winger, he's gone. Uh, Centurion, our keeper, our backup keeper, potentially starting keeper, is back. 616. Ow. Um, shit. There was somebody else. Where, oh, our striker left. Our leading striker, Ramirez, he's gone. Pretty sure he's gone. Let's see. Yeah, he's gone. So Ramirez is gone. And I think there was one other guy. No, yeah, no, no, that's it. Because we only have four loans. So two people left. Um, we signed. We signed Ferreira, so he was a third loan. No, we lost one other player. Crap, now I don't remember. Oh, well. You'll know who it is. I, I, I don't remember. So anyway, let's get back to transfers because we did bring in some more players. So we had the sale. We had several transfers end. Uh, so then we brought, uh, so we signed Ferreira. Uh, of course, we signed him on a free. So he is back. Not sure I'm gonna start him though. Now, now you know he's he's really struggled this year. Gee whiz. Not quite two in you know two in one, but more than he had last year. Uh, then we brought in uh, on a free Gaston Medina from Sud America. So he is a central mid, uh, defensive mid, uh, like his physicals. Uh, first touch is solid. Marking's okay. Passing and tackling are good. Work rate is good. Uh, so 
I like him, 25, so we've got him signed. Uh, then we brought in uh, Santiago Maderos on a free. Uh, he can play basically central mid. He can play left wing. He can play striker. And he's got the numbers for all of them. I'm probably projecting him out on the wing uh, or up top. Just, you know, he can fill in. He's going to be a rotation guy. He wanted a little extra money for being rotation because he was looking for a key role. I wasn't going to give that to him because uh, I knew he wouldn't be a starter. And then uh, I did have uh, a need uh, for some wingers. So we brought in Carlos Dorego from Phoenix. Uh, he's going to be a left winger. Very good physicals. Crossing is excellent. First touch. He can pass okay. Technique is good. Work rate is good. Uh, determination. I like his skills. And uh, from Torque, uh, or Torque, we brought in Diego Gonzalez, and he can play right or left. Uh, he's got, again, pace, acceleration, decent first touch. Uh, not quite as good, but, you know, again, uh, he's. I think he's going to replace... Uh, Lietti's on the right wing, so he's going to be uh, over there. Now, he is suspended for uh, the first match, uh, which is where we're at today. So that's the moves. And then, let's see, we got anything else coming on? Uh, we've got a possible loan going out. Uh, Diego Olivero. We have offered him... I think. Oh, that's our guy. Duh. Um, yeah, I think we've offered him out. Uh, he's not quite as strong in here to really fill a role. But he is 23. Let's let's see. Diego Olivero. If we look at him here. Yeah, see, he, he's three star, one and a, but he's only one and a half right now. So I think he's he's expendable for the season. And then who else was here? And, uh, Anderson Ramirez. Um, yeah, they uh, he did not want to play with us. I'd like to get him back. You know, but I've got I've got that winger. I've got how did he do for us? Four and fourteen. He's got four and eleven. He's playing a lot better. I'm thinking Mendez is going to end up being my starter because he can't cross. I don't want him out on the wing. But he can finish, he can head, he's got height, he's got technique, uh, solid strength. You know, so I think he can do the job. Uh, Winter Soldier's probably going to be uh, off to the left. Durego's going to be out there. Um, I could play, you know, I could move him and play him on the right. Uh, Cena we re-signed. So Cena's probably going to be my starter on the right wing. That's my goal. Um, that's what I'm thinking, but I probably would like another, I was thinking another center back, but you know, Barney got real hot once I started giving him some starts, scoring goals, putting the ball in, he's got good ability. So I think I'm going to let him, I think I'm going to let him play and, um, and then Castagna, we might get him some, some playing time as well. So I think I'm going to be good. Uh, on my transfers at this point. Uh, the only other thing I would like, I would like to strengthen up maybe our back line. Uh, that would really be the only, I'd like either, you know, a right back or a left back. Uh, Teixeira is our captain. Uh, he, he could move up to, if I got somebody good here, he could move up to this spot because Vieira, I really want him playing up in the box. Although, Although, let's see, Medina, you know, he's got pace. I think I'm going to do that. Let's take a look at that. Let's go into this match. All right, we are favorites. We're at home. We're in the quarterfinals. All right, so I want... Yeah, 
I want Vieira there. And I want ineligible. Oh, he's not going to be able to play for us this year. Oh, that fucking sucks. All right, we'll have Oliveira then. Um, hello. What's his deal? Contracted to Sarah Largo, 23 years old. 12, well, you know what? I guess we offer him a new contract right now. Yeah, we'll do that. Boom. All right, that's not a problem anymore. All right, so if Vieira's off the board at defensive mid, we're probably only going to play to one match because I actually want to kind of think this out. So he, can, he can't pass very well, but he's got good defensive skills. He's not a horrible passer. Now, Oliveira, he's an average passer, decent defense. And then Barney. Now Barney can actually pass the ball, so box to box. So he'll be moving the ball up. All right, Teixeira, Quinteros. I think I already did this, but well, let's pick without restriction. That's what I want to do. All right, but I want Vieira on the back line. And then I want Oliveira there. All right. Um... That is an inside forward. So now the Winter Soldier is right footed. So we would want him on the left side. Now Durego is left only. So let's let's give Durego the start here. It's still an inside forward. He can learn that. So let's develop. Well, he should. We'll, we'll we'll look, but that's the whole thing. If he's cutting inside, he will be using his left foot. So I think he'll be good over there. Finishing's not great. Certainly not what the Winter Soldier has. Mendez up top. Is that who I want there? Yeah, I think Mendez is the right guy. Carrasco. We've got him on the bench. Yeah, he's an okay finisher, Andrade. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I need, I don't think I need another striker. I think we're all right. We, we've got guys because we can move around. We've got Durego, uh, we can move Durego over here. Um, Teixeira is in there. Rodriguez, Rodriguez is our, he's one of our young left backs. I do have him loan listed. Because I don't think, well, you know what? I don't know. Do I keep him? Let's see. Who else is there? All right. Fowler's injured. Enzo Martinez. Actually, I like Enzo. He can't cross, but I do. Oh, he's my center back. Yeah, I can't play him. Quintero. So you know what? I need to unloan list him. Uh, transfer status unavailable for loan. And transfers confirm. Uh, da, da, da. We're going to reject that. All right. So let's get back into here. All right. So yeah, he's going to end up having to play. <laughs> All right. Uh, Ferreira's in. Travatini. Centurion. 13, 13, 14. You know what? I'm going to put Centurion there, and I'm going to put 
Ferreira. There he is, Ferreira on the bench. I'm going to give Centurion a start. I need to see if he can cut it. All right, let's go. Daddy? Yes. I guess I want to know. Go ahead and turn it on, but mute it. I'm going to do this one game, so I'll be a little behind. All right, let's go ahead and try to get their morale maxed out. All right, we are in the white. Boston River in the red and green. All right, Teixeira. Oh, Vieira. Into the box. Oliveira, yes. Debut goal. First goal of the season. Very nice. Oh, that was great. Oh, that was a brilliant move by him. Very nice. All right, Teixeira into Barney. Out to Teixeira. Crossed in. Oliveira with a brace in the first half, in the first 18 minutes. Oh, my God. We have found a star in the making. Two goals. Two shots, two on target, two goals. My life is complete. Uh, is he standing on the line? Hello? V VAR? I think he was in the box. Uh-oh. He splits three defenders. Oh, Centurion actually got a save. Ferreira, take note of that. That's how you're supposed to do it. Block the ball. Oh, punched out? What's the deal? I haven't seen a punch in a minute. Oh, knocked away. Was there a foul? Yes, there was. Ooh, thank God it wasn't a penalty. All right, headed over. We are doing good. Praise the boys. Oh, wait, we've got four shots and four on target, but only two goals. We're slacking. Oh. Big Ten Network. It is uh, six ten or six eleven. Six ten, I think. Oh, that one should have been in. Getting ready to watch football, boys. American football. Go blue. All right. Um, no, we got to tell them something. Uh, please, with your performance, keep it going. Oh, oh no, Barney. Barney, the big purple dinosaur, just killed somebody. All right. I'm fine with no highlights at this point. Everybody's playing good. Um, you know what? Let's move Dorego over to that side, and let's put and let's put Mollins on that side, and Oliveira's playing well. Rodriguez is playing well. I'm actually pretty. Imp I mean, he's he's not playing great, but it is what it is. Um. Tackling, no. Archetta. I'm going to go ahead and put Archetta in there. He's still got good passing skills. It's kind of what I'm looking for in that position is, you know, distribution. He might actually be an upgrade. All right. Uh, let's praise him some more because they're playing well. Look at the multiple seven ratings. Oh, my God. 
Uh, all right, Rodriguez, defensive. All right, I can move Martinez out there. Let's do that. The defensive left. And then we'll bring in uh, Magdalena's into the center. Ooh, a downpour has started since the beginning of the game. That could have had an impact. Oh, look at the look at the quick distribution. Oh, that was bad. Oliveira. Outside to Shara. No, that was horrible. Yeah, I think that is something I need to look at is a right back and a left back. But a clean sheet. Holy crap. How long has it been since we've had one of those? A while. Excellent effort. All right, so that puts us into the quarter uh, into the semis. Right? Yes. Hopefully my volume is on. Testing, testing. Yep. All right, the draw is tomorrow, today. All right. Yes, Olivera. Look out. We win in the quarterfinal. Two goals. Great job. Now he played. Okay, yeah, so he was playing in that central mid. Good deal. Uh, we broke our team consecutive win streak. We now have six in a row. And let's get to the draw, and then we'll call it an episode. A little shorter than usual, but that's all right. We don't want to go over by a ton. All right, and Chet assigns the new contract. Hello. Draw, draw. There we are. All right, the draw. All right, so we have Nacional, Plaza Colonia, and Juventud de la Pizzas. Uh, I'd rather not them. I'd rather not them, which means that's who I'm going to get. No, we got Plaza Colonia. All right, and we're the home team. That's even better. They're twelfth in the in the league right now, and I think we have done a one-one draw and a four-three win. So we're competitive with them at least. So we could make it to the final. Oh my God! Could you imagine if we could do that and stun Nationale? That would be the double. We'd have a double. That would be incredible. All right, that takes place uh, September 2nd. So I tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and do uh, do these early games uh, off camera. We'll come back for that, and then uh, we'll do Liverpool in that one. And then the next episode will likely be the cup final, if we make it. And uh, we'll march on. So thanks for watching, guys. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you don't mind. And we'll see you next episode. Take care. Bye.